How are you? This is Alexandra. I'm a fashion stylist and today I wanted to speak to you about online shopping. Since we are in a time right now that everybody is at home, uh, a lot of people uh, will do online shopping even if they don't have to go anywhere. We love online shopping. Everybody loves doing that. So in order not to spend too much money uh, just to deliver those uh, items of clothing to your house and try them on and understand they don't fit or they don't suit you, uh, I'm going to give you today uh, some of my uh, tips how to avoid buying wrong things, how to avoid adding them to your basket before you um, press the final button. But over time, I found out that I have this system in my head that works for me, how I look at clothes, how I analyze clothes um, before I add them to my basket. I have a list of questions that I ask basically this item of clothing. So I'm going to show you some examples of some things that I found on ASOS, which is my favorite place to shop at. And um, I found some pieces that I would normally uh, choose even just to click on them. The first piece of clothing that I chose is the, a midi skirt, a denim midi skirt. So when I looked at this image at first, I was like, oh my God, I want this skirt immediately. But then I started thinking, okay, so this lady obviously looks good in this picture. She's got a great body, she's got a great shape, her posture in this uh, skirt right now is amazing. So as a front picture, it's definitely appealing to the customers. Uh, it's definitely something that triggers you to click the button to open it. Uh, but when you think about it, if you put it in a different body and in a bit different situation. So in the way that she's dressed in this picture, so she's wearing heels, a crop top, uh, everything looks good and perfect. Um, yes, if it says to your case, um, feel free to add it. But I'm suddenly thinking, okay, I'm gonna place it on myself. So model's height is definitely matching mine, which means that the length of the skirt will finish in exactly the same place. Uh, on my body but I'm thinking that I won't wear it with heels like in 80% cases I won't wear it with heels because um, I think I would rather wear it with sneakers because that's my reality I wear sneakers or flat shoes more often than when I wear heels even if I wanted to wear heels I can't lie to my say that okay I will definitely wear it with heels but then eventually we'll end up wearing it with sneakers so you have to be honest with yourself how you're going to wear it. So um, the question is, will this skirt look good with the sneakers? Will my legs look still good in this skirt uh, when I wear it with sneakers? Because obviously your legs look much better when, they, um, when you are in heels. Uh, plus, if you have a bit of tummy, this skirt would show it definitely like in 100% so you have to think about underwear you might need to add some tights or some um, high-waisted uh, knickers something like this to hold it all together then the question is would you be comfortable doing all this so for instance for me what I would do in this kind of situation I would check if they have one size, a skirt one size bigger than I am, so it will be a bit more free and not so fitted, then maybe I would be able to wear it. Next item that I wanted to uh, discuss is a curved trapeze midi dress with lace up back in pink. This is a very beautiful dress in a really beautiful shade of pink. And when I'm looking at this dress, at first I check its length, and it's midi length, which is perfect for me because A, it's good length for my height and B, it's trendy. So next, uh, I'm checking the cut, uh, the neck cut and the sleeves. So the neck cut is a V neck um, and that is actually very good for me because it slims me down. So this dress also has big sleeves, which is really, really good because not only I like them, but also they also suit me. Uh, because uh, the volume that comes at the end of those sleeves stops right around my waist and my tummy so it kind of like evens out the volume that I have around my breast and my and the sleeves but when we go to a second picture and we look at the back of this dress unfortunately I have to say no to this dress 
I would love to have this dress, but I have to say no for one simple reason. For the, because of the lace that is at the back, and you see how low the cut is at the bottom of it. You know why I would say no? Because of the bra. Unfortunately, this dress will show the bra. And if you cannot wear this dress without a bra, then it's a no-no, unfortunately. So simple things like this you know you look at the picture from the front it's amazing you love it you want to take it you look at the back it's gone also if you look at the third picture from the back it's very loose and it has no shape uh, around a waist and tummy so from some perspective maybe it will be good um, for those who want to hide their tummy but for me, it's a, it will be already a no because of the lace, unfortunately, at the back. Moving on to the next item. This is a pair of jeans, uh, a curved, recycled, high-waist, slim mom jeans in dark wash with busted knees. So uh, when I look at this uh, jeans, I immediately say yes uh, because the cut is perfect for me. The length stop where I like it to be. Um, I like the holes around the knees so i like the that it's a high waisted so i would definitely say yes but when i go to a third picture and i see this extra fabric around the crotch area this is not good so this is something that will make me think twice and what it looks like is that this type of jeans i would have to wear with the belt only otherwise they will start um going down i like wearing my jeans with belt because no matter what uh, after some time every kind of every pair of jeans goes big so i have to put on a belt uh, because it would make me extremely uncomfortable always trying to pull them up um, i like the length of it um it seems like um, always check what um model height is that wearing this picture uh, that wearing these jeans so always check the height and the size that a model is wearing even though the size is not always relevant because this model is wearing size 18 and um my 18 could be a bit different from her 18 because we could have a different hips and a different bum uh, and most importantly a different waist but i can see that this model and doesn't have a very slim waist which is kind of similar to what i have so that's something that um, i could consider adding to my basket uh, next trousers so this is the monty organic cotton wide leg trousers so the trousers that i'm looking at uh they, they look good i immediately wanted to check them out more precisely and the length is great one thing that confuses me this lady on the picture is really really skinny even if i choose these trousers in size uh, 16 or 18 it will be very risky for one simple thing they might not extend the waistline for people who has bigger uh, waistline or a bit of tummy um, for me for instance i'm always looking for a stretchy fabric so um that's something i also consider when i'm looking at things like this so when we look at this uh, denim trousers i know for sure that they won't be stretchy so uh, even if i buy the biggest size i know they won't fit around my uh, waist and my tummy because they're meant to be for very skinny uh, people so that's something i already realized and i'm just like no straight up it doesn't work the reason why i'm saying it is that sometimes we just like how the model looks like a uh, look in this uh item of clothing but when you place it on another body it might look completely different it might look actually worse so this is something you need to place yourself in this uh in this body in this item of clothing while you're looking at it online and only then analyze like will it be good for me not this model looking good in this bralette not this bralette looking good by itself but me wearing it will it be will it be good um maybe i would want to have it for real i would want to have it very very much but i need to be honest with myself will it fit me will it suit me uh, and if i say yes uh, and also will i wear it eventually um, if i say yes to all of this then you could add it to a basket but if it's just something that you look that you like as a picture then what's the point
Okay, so last but not least is um, a wrap top with the ruffle details. I would say yes to this uh, item because um, I like that it's uh, a wrap top because it won't it will be um, suitable for me in terms of my figure. Uh, it will definitely hide my uh, boobs, make them look smaller. It would highlight my waist and it would cover my tummy. Plus, the additional bow would take a draw attention away from all that, uh, all those areas. The length of the sleeve is perfect. It's not too short, not too long, so I would still feel comfortable in it. Um, very light. Um, the skin will breathe because it's not so fitted. Uh, apart from the waist, it's got V neck as well, so which makes your neck look longer. Uh, so I definitely can see myself in all of this. So after you ask yourself all these questions, uh, you take every detail of this thing and then you compare it to yourself if you like it or not. Uh, so yeah, this top is definitely yes. Um, so this is how it goes. This is how I analyze all the stuff online that I see. Uh, it might sound that it's um, time consuming, but it's actually not. Once you um, get along with it, once you kind of like figure out this whole system in your head, it will take like literally two minutes, like less than two minutes, literally one minute to analyze um, this type of thing. So as I said, one, you need to know your body proportions. You need to know what type of silhouettes works for you. B, you need to know what colors works for you because remember that colors are changing. No matter how much they say they don't change the color online, they do. So sometimes color, can, unfortunately, can look different on the picture. So always make sure if there is a video, check the video because the color might be different and make sure that it um, matches your uh, skin tone. So that's all the questions you need to ask yourself. Hope that helps. Uh, let me know in the comments um, what your tips for uh, buying things online. Uh, if there's anything you want to share with other people that could read and uh, thank you for watching um, enjoy the rest of your day